Now, the thing that's interesting about the love of many growing cold is when I first read this verse, I don't know, 20 plus years ago, I imagined that cold love would look like these, you know, these stoic people just kind of walking around like robots. And then here we are, you know, 20 years later, and I'm going, people are more passionate than ever. What, what am I missing here? I never knew that cold love would look dispassionate. I'll say this again, I never thought that cold love would look dispassionate. So how is it that love grows cold? Well, we have to go to the fundamental, one of the fundamental reality of love. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he what? Gave. It's this issue of the giving of oneself, which is the direct opposite of what is happening within the culture. 2 Timothy 3, Paul makes it very clear that in the last days, he says there'll be perilous times and the first reason is, is because men will be lovers of self. The, the emerging of narcissism, the rise of narcissism, that is love growing cold. Where a generation is becoming increasingly abandoned to self. And it is precisely for such a time as this that the Holy Spirit is inviting us into the divine community and it is no accident that the whole discourse of the divine community starts in John 13, which shows us that the very nature of love is that, is that, is that it's humble. It is the giving of oneself to another. In direct opposite of um, what's going on in the culture. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to ask you a question for you to ponder because um, I've been um, I've been miserable with this question and, and misery lust company and so I'm going to bring you into my misery and, and don't email me just be miserable for me okay that's yeah, I'm not looking for an answer I'm just looking for you to be miserable with me on this uh, but the, but here's the question. We've all been told that that the most re difficult relational dynamics is three. And I find it interesting that the Trinity lives in divine community of three persons and it's perfect love. And I go, Lord, what is it about the divine community that perfect love can exist with three.